Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how you can customize your cursor on Chromebook. Well, the best you can, because you can't do it perfectly. So you see up here in the icon, it's probably on the bottom left. But I switch it down here. You know what? I'll just make it bottom. So this is probably how you see it. I'm going to click this. And you're going to scroll down, right? And you're going to hit settings. It's going to open up settings. You have to wait for it to load. I click on device on the left here. Click that little bar there. Hit mouse and touchpad right here. Then you can scroll down. You can see mouse. You can see touchpad. You can actually customize the speed, the acceleration, and everything that like that's like this. Now another thing you can do is go to advanced, click on accessibility, then manage accessibility features. Then you can scroll down and see mouse and touchpad and you can actually customize the size of it here i don't know if you can do that on the other uh, settings page just customize the size of it by using this little slider here i'm just going to turn it off you can highlight it so it gives you the red circle when you move your cursor around and then you can just open the other settings that i showed earlier automatically click when the cursor stops you have to also one of the features and unfortunately the chromebook doesn't really allow you to do too many things to customize your cursor but they said if I can find the uh, form. And there's this web page I found from officialchromestore.com and it says they're adding a new feature where when they add it, you can actually ch check your Chromebook if you're watching this maybe a few weeks or even a few months after this video is uploaded, uh, that you can check on your Chromebook if it's new or you updated it recently to go to the accessibility or um, the little icon here. Open up the settings like we did before. So just click on that, open up this page and then on advanced the accessibility you'll see here there's going to be managed accessibility features custom cursor color as you can see there and there's going to be a new drop down and it's going to say color and you can select different colors like red and green and uh yeah that, that's coming it's going to be added as a uh experimental feature soon so you can actually activate it it just be in beta testing and eventually a few months after that it's going to be a full feature that everyone can use and this is the code if you're a little geek. <laughs> no offense. If you want to know what the code is, uh, this is basically how to, I don't know, some code of the thing. <laughs> I don't really know. And yeah, so this post just shows more about it, that it's coming soon for more customization. But that's actually the end of the tutorial. So I guess if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.